Hello everyone, once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'm going to continue on our discussion on EMC consideration. On the first few previous video, we actually discussed what is capacity coupling, what is inductive coupling. Capacity coupling is also known as e field coupling or inductive coupling is also known as h field or magnetic field coupling. We also learn what are the different techniques to apply in order to resolve the problem. The key idea is whether is it capacitive or inductive, can we actually use different techniques to mitigate the problem. So the issue will be what kind of coupling is actually occur. We may not be able to know. Okay, so today video is actually to address this. Okay, today video is to distinguish okay, whether the coupling is due to inductive or capacity. So today our topic for discussion is how to note the difference between inductive and capacity coupling. Okay, so this will be the part 11 series. Okay, the earlier on series discussion, I have put the link under the description. So please go through the video if you are keen to know more what is EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, i like to urge you guys to help this channel by like and subscribe. Okay, we need the like and subscribe in order to improve the service of this channel. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, first is, how can we distinguish whether is it capacitive or inductive coupling? Okay, it may be very useful to note some difference between inductive and capacitive coupling. Okay, like what I have mentioned earlier on, okay, we know that different coupling, we actually need to apply different techniques. So therefore, we need to be aware whether is it inductive or whether is it capacitive coupling. Then we can apply different techniques to resolve this situation. For inductive coupling is also known as magnetic field coupling. Okay, a noise voltage is produced in series with the receptor conductor. Okay, so whereas for capacitive coupling, okay, which is also known as electric field coupling, okay, a noise current is produced between the receptor conductor and ground. Okay, don't worry, I will explain this with diagram. Okay, this difference can be used in the following test to distinguish between electric or magnetic coupling. Okay, first you can measure the noise voltage across the impedance at one end of the cable. Okay, while decrease the impedance at the opposite end of the cable. Okay, if the measure voltage decrease, okay, the pickup is electric. And if the measure noise voltage increase, okay, the pickup is magnetic. Okay, so let me use the next two slides to further explain on this. Okay, so this is what we have discussed earlier on. Okay, for capacity coupling, okay, a noise current is actually produced between the receptor conductor and ground. So this is for electric okay, or capacity coupling. So it becomes a noise current. Okay, this is the victim. Okay, firstly, we can measure the noise voltage on the victim. So on the other end of the cable, we have this resistance or we call it impedance. Okay, so what we need to do is we, for example, we reduce the impedance. Okay, when we actually reduce this impedance, more current will be flowing here and less current will be flowing this path. And with less current flowing, okay, the noise voltage actually decreases. So when the noise voltage decreases, okay, we will know that the pickup is due to electric or capacity coupling. Okay, so this is how we can actually identify whether is it capacity or magnetic coupling. Okay, like what I mentioned, we reduce the resistance here. Okay, more current will be prone to flow this path. Less will want to flow this path. And when there's less current, the noise voltage actually decreased. And with this, we know that the pickup is electric. Okay, next, okay, for inductive coupling, okay, also magnetic field coupling, a noise voltage is produced in series with the receptor conductor. Okay, so this is the coupling from magnetic coupling. Okay, so this is a noise voltage source here. Okay, we measure the noise voltage of the beam here. So on the other side here, okay, we reduce the resistance. This is a noise source. Okay, this thing reduced, and you can see that 
okay, more voltage will be fall on this part here okay, as compared to here now. Okay, so you can actually see that there's a noise voltage increase. And when there's a noise voltage increase, we know that this is due to magnetic coupling. Okay, so this is one way to determine this. A very easy approach is to control the resistance or impedance. Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Okay, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.